the Sports Renegades podcast on SportstownChicago.com. Welcome back to the Sports Renegades on SportstownChicago.com. Let me turn this down. I didn't realize that that song was in there. I just sort of played it without really realizing what it was. I didn't know it was in there either. <laughs> so there, there you go. Um, so anyways, we're going to get to our uh, picks for the week. Do you have an update on last week? Other than I don't think I did very good last week. Uh, yes, I do. Week 12. Uh I ended up winning ten to nine against. I got you. that many right. You, I feel like I got did. a ton wrong. Uh, let's see. Uh, Detroit and Philadelphia. That you picked Philadelphia, so that that was yeah. Good. That that was bad. <laughs> um, we both picked Carolina, so that was good, and uh, we both picked Green Bay, and they lost. Did we both pick the uh, Patriots? Both picked the Patriots. They have to go with the undefeated team when they're ten and zero. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I mean, other than that, you know, it was just sort of back and forth. Um, I picked Minnesota. You picked Atlanta. I was right with that one. I picked Jacksonville. You picked San Diego. I, that, that was a weird game. Um, San Diego won that one, didn't they? San Diego won. Yes. Uh, yeah. Rivers had like four touchdown passes. Uh, something like that. Yeah, he. I mean, he did good against the bad team, which is what. With no see. receiving core. Um, I picked Houston. You picked New Orleans. That wasn't good. So anyway, I I won ten to nine. I think update. I'm I'm not sure what the updated standings are. I think I'm still like three games ahead of you or something overall. But whatever. Uh, okay, new week tonight in uh, about a half hour. Green Bay at Detroit. Green Bay. They've uh, got to start winning again soon. They're too good to keep losing. Yeah, I mean, we don't want them to win, but... Uh, they're, they're too good to keep losing. I agree with you. It's it's going to be Green Bay. Um, and, and I hope Stafford has a bad game, because I'm, I'm playing your friend John. I'm, I'm playing him, and he has Matthew Stafford as a starting quarterback. So, I'm, so I'm hoping he does bad today. Uh, Stafford does. Because um, I'll, I'll be down in a hurry then. Um, so we're both taking Green Bay. And the game's at Detroit. Uh, Jets at Giants, Battle of New York City. Giants. They usually win this game. It's a home game for the Giants, not that it matters. Yeah, not that it matters. Honestly, I'd rather be the away team for this because that's like a ninth home game. Yeah, yeah, it, that's true. Um, this one's tough. I think Eli Manning's going to bounce back. Giants are going to bounce back. They haven't been playing well the last few weeks. I think they're going to do okay, and I agree with you. I think they'll beat the Jets. Um Arizona at St. Louis. <laughs> I think you have to go with Arizona. I sure hope so. Carson Palmer needs to have a good game for me. Did you know I have four quarterbacks on my fantasy team right now? I have uh, Carson Palmer, who I'm starting. I have Kirk Cousins in case Carson Palmer has like a bad matchup. I just added Brock Osweiler just because I kind of like him and I wanted him on my team for like emergencies. And then I have Andrew Luck, who's out. I haven't dropped him yet, so... Four quarterbacks right now on my team. Uh, the best one being Carson Palmer, obviously. He's done a pretty good job. Uh, if he doesn't throw any interceptions, I'll be pretty good in this game. I'm going to go with Arizona, too. There's no way St. Louis is going to win this game anyway. No, no. Arizona's too good of a team. Um, Atlanta at Tampa Bay. Atlanta. Atl- Atlanta's just been so bad recently. Yeah. So, uh... They, yeah, they they lost last week too. Who did they lose to last week? I, I forget. Uh, Minnesota. Atlanta. Yeah, they did. It, it was Minnesota. Uh, you're going with Atlanta. I'm, I'm going to go Tampa Bay at home. I, I think Atlanta's going to finally get a get a win. I mean, Atlanta's a good team, and I I really think that they've they've lost. The weird thing with them is they've they've lost a lot of games they should have won, and they've won a lot of games that, and they've won games they should have lost. It's like really weird. Yeah, I, I agree with that, but. Um, I think Tampa Bay is going to win. I, I just think uh, on you know at home, uh, and then that I mean it doesn't really matter who wins or loses this game for the Bears' sake because they they want both of these teams to lose somehow. Yeah, I'd have to say if you're a Bears fan, you'd probably want Tampa Bay to win or uh, Tampa Bay to win because I yeah. think then they'd both be six and six, and then if the Bears win, they're also six and six. Yes, and uh, you know Atlanta has no chance of winning their division. Yeah, no, when not when not when you have an undefeated team uh <laughs> where Ta- Tampa Bay still still has a s- Oh no, Tampa Bay is also in that division. What am I talking about? So, 
Yeah, um, New Orleans way. is kind of out of it. Right. So either way, I mean, that's going to be a close matchup, though. Uh, Seattle at Minnesota. Minnesota's been playing really well. Seattle uh, escaped with a, um, a, a very exciting game against the Steelers last week. I, this one's yeah, tough. we needed Pittsburgh to win. We yeah, we did, Pittsburgh and this to one's tough. Who are they playing? At Minnesota. I think Minnesota's going to win. They, I mean, they're, they're just like that team that you keep thinking, you know, is going to start losing, and then they just don't. I mean, Minnesota's just a really good team. Adrian Peterson's doing really well. Defense and special teams have been what they've done the best. And running the ball. Yeah, and they run the ball, obviously. The pass game has been helped out that uh, has been helped out a lot by the fact that Stefan Diggs emerged as a number one target for Teddy Bridgewater because they really don't have anyone else besides him. I I can tell you, Seattle's not going to throw five touchdowns like they did last week. Not against uh, Minnesota's defense, and now that they don't have Jimmy Graham anymore, uh, he's out for the year. So. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. I, I don't think Seattle has a very favorable matchup going into Minnesota. I think Minnesota will win. Um, okay, the big matchup of the week, San Francisco at Chicago. The Bears. Yeah, I got to go with the Bears. If the Bears lose this one, their playoff hopes are really looking bleak. Yeah, uh, if they lose this one, then you want to want them to lose out just to get another high pick right. because that, that'll just help them out. Except if they can make the playoffs, you got to take advantage. I'm hoping that on some extra uh, that on some extra rest, a couple of these guys will come back. Maybe not Eddie Royal, but uh, Marquise Wilson was limited, I Maybe think. Jeffrey can actually be healthy for the Ho- rest of yeah, the year. Yeah, hopefully Jeffrey can be healthy. Hopefully Forte can be more effective, um, and hopefully they should be able to take off that that win that they had at Green Bay and carry that momentum into Soldier Field for the next two weeks and they should win these next two home games that'll make their home record seem a little better too because right now it's still just the one win yeah that doesn't look good when you have five wins too that, that's when you realize all the games that got away is when you have one home win at this point of the season right. two home games got away for sure um, Jacksonville at Tennessee Battle wow. of two bad teams again. I feel like they're always playing each other, but it's only been twice. Yeah, it feels like, and it, the thing is, it usually feels like these, these are like the Thursday night matchups, which they they did have the Thursday night matchup with this a couple weeks ago. Oh, did you see those awful jerseys from Jacksonville that looked like mustard? Yeah, <laughs> I got it. It looked horrible. Uh, who I don't with? know. This is tough. This is I. I want to say Jacksonville, and at the same time, I want to say Tennessee. I'll flip a coin. I'm going to go Jacksonville. All right, then I'll go Tennessee. I think that makes sense. One of us has to be right. <laughs> at least I hope one of us is right. For, I'll, uh, I'll go Tennessee this at kind home. Of game. Yeah. This is the kind of game we have We have to be different. Right. Uh, Houston at Buffalo. This is another tough one. I'm going to go with Buffalo. I think Tyrod Taylor has recovered from his uh, shoulder injury, and he looked really good last week. I'm going to go Houston. Uh, Houston's on a roll right now, and they a couple weeks ago they went into somewhere and won. Uh, I forget where they were playing, but they went into somewhere and won. They had a home win last week. J.J. Watt's on fire. Their offense is actually looking pretty good. Um, and the Bills are in just a lot of turmoil right now. Uh, they can't seem to buy a win. I'm, I'm going to go with Houston. Uh, Baltimore at Miami. This is a horrible matchup. Baltimore at Miami. This one's harder to pick than the other game because you knew at the <laughs> beginning of the year Jacksonville and Tennessee would be bad where you're expecting Miami and Baltimore to both be good. I, I mean, granted, I kind of saw this coming from Baltimore when they hired Mark Trestman. <laughs> Very true. Yeah, um, I'm going with Miami. I'm going with Miami. Okay. Mark Trestman doesn't deserve to win any more games. He deserves to get fired. Miami's home, and they have all, and they have a lot more weapons. Um, all Baltimore's weapons are hurt. So yeah, I'm going with Miami. Yeah, every pretty much every single playmaker on the offense for Baltimore is injured. Right. Uh, Steve Smith, Forsett, Joe Rash- Flacco, Rashad Perryman, their first round pick. Perryman, yeah, they're all hurt. So I'm uh, sure they have a oh Dennis Pitta. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, hurt too. Is he a tight end or what is yeah, he? Tight yeah, tight end. Um, I'm sure they have an offensive lineman that's hurt too. Probably. Uh, okay, Battle of Ohio, round two, Cincinnati at Cleveland. Cincinnati. I mean, how can <laughs> how can you pick the Browns after what happened on Monday? Oh man, yeah that 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 was a how can a you rough pick one. the Browns after that? Last week I picked the Browns on Monday Night Football, and for a second I thought I picked it correctly, but. <laughs> 
than they told me otherwise. And th th there was also an interesting thing in that Monday night game. I, I could have sworn that the guy that, that ran it back for the game when he touched him, I could have sworn he stepped out of bounds at some point. But there was, like, no replay. Nobody even questioned it. And they're just like, oh, it's the Browns. And the Browns like, I, I feel like he stepped out of bounds at some point. And they never showed a good replay to, to see him, you know, walk in the sidelines or... I don't know. To me, it seemed like he stepped out at some point. I don't know if you saw that, but I I didn't think he stepped out. I mean, it. The, except the thing is, all scoring plays are reviewed, so the refs obviously reviewed it and saw he didn't step I, out. Yeah, I, I guess the refs reviewed it, but they never showed us, and they never showed us like a replay. Like everyone just assumed the game was over right there. I feel like. Well, you think that the Browns players would have been like pointing at the sideline though that if he had stepped out, no right. one was really complaining. That's the thing. Nobody was complaining about it, and to me, from the naked eye, it looked like he was very close or did step out of bounds i'm i'm sure it was very close and i'm sure after they reviewed it you know it, it it was all clean it just made me mad that like i never really got to see that on the television uh yeah but so we're both going with cincinnati though this week at cleveland kansas city at oakland oh i'm gonna have see the thing is oakland is a is a better team than kansas city except they're kind of on a they're in a real bad slump and kansas city's on the rise i I'm just going to go Kansas City just because they're playing really good football right now. I'm going Kansas City, too. I, I agree with you that Oakland, I, I wouldn't say Oakland's the better team overall. Exactly. I think I, I think Oakland is better. They're, they're a young team. They have a really good coaching set. I they're would say their offensive song. weapons are much better than Kansas City's. I, I, I would say y that. Yeah. And but then, overall, I think Kansas City's a better team. Yeah, I mean, I know Kansas City's more experienced. I feel like Oakland's an up-and-coming team. They just haven't put it together yet. They've yeah. got a really good coaching staff. Right. Denver at San Diego. Wow. That's tough. I think I'm going to have I, – I, I, I'm going with Denver. This is one of the few times I'm not going to pick the Chargers. I'm Granted, going that hasn't Denver gone too. well for me this year. No, it hasn't. I'm, I'm going with Denver, too. <laughs> Brock Osweiler will throw three touchdowns in this game, I'm calling it. Um, Philadelphia at New England. Oh. Wow. I – do they even need to play this game to know who's going to win? It doesn't even matter. You know, it's it's Tom Brady against Tom the Brady Eagles. Tom Brady could still is. put up with the lack of offensive talent that we had been discussing right now. Tom Brady could still put up 45 points. Right. Yeah, so it's safe to say we're both going with New England. Um, Carolina at New Orleans. Does Carolina stay undefeated? I think they, or stay, just... I think they stay undefeated. I think they do, too, although I would not be surprised in the slightest if New Orleans, because, I mean, they still have Drew Brees. They still have the capability of upsetting teams because of their potent offense with Drew Brees throwing the ball like a million yards. But I, I agree. I think Carolina stays undefeated. They, they would be, what, 12-0, 13-0, something like that. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they'll go undefeated. Granted, I think that they're better off lo at losing at least one regular season game before they get upset in early in the playoffs. Because I have a feeling that they're the kind of team that's going to lose in the first or second round of the playoffs. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take a look at the rest of their schedule. Let's see. Okay, so they're uh, at New Orleans. Then they're at home versus the Falcons. That at, could be a game they lose right there. At the Giants, that one. At the Falcons, and then home against the Buccaneers. I, they, I, they, All division I, rivals. I have a feeling they're going to lose one of those games to Atlanta. Uh, they could lose to the Giants, too, if Eli Manning can find a way to pick apart uh, Ron Rivera's defense. I think, yeah, I think they're going to beat the Saints. I think they're going to beat the Falcons at home, and then I think they might lose one or two straight yeah. at the Giants at Atlanta. Yeah, they could lose both to the Falcons. Except I don't see them beating Atlanta twice. No. I don't Not unless so. they literally shut down Julio Jones. <laughs> the Sunday night game's a pretty good one if Andrew Luck was still playing. Uh, Colts at Steelers. Steelers. Steelers as well. Uh... This should be a fairly easy win, hopefully, because uh, I kind of like the Steelers. Um, Dallas at Washington is the Monday night game. Two bad ones in a row. Yeah. And Romo's out, and Washington's I'm going home. with Washington. I'm going with the It'll effectively Washington. end the Cowboys' season, because once they can only go 7-9, and nine, Cowboys fans will... Actually, I take that back. Cowboys fans will still think that they could win the Super Bowl. Oh, of course. They always think they have a chance, right? Um... Yeah, so those are our picks. Uh, we're both going with Washington. We're only different on, let's see, one, two. We're only different on three picks. Jeez. So it'll be very close again. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll take a break. Hey, there's if one person, yeah, there's a chance one of us gets them all right this week. There is, and uh, we'll take a break, and we will. 
come back and talk some baseball, off-season moves, winter meetings, I think, start Sunday night, so it's getting very exciting. So stick around to Sports Renegades, Sports Town Chicago.